Hello friends, today I'm going to share my workflow and then you can see how I am using AI to generate inspiration design for kitchen or interior space. Okay, here is the workflow that I have. This workflow needs two input. This, this is a same segment, a semantic segmentation color. And this one is a shaded color to define some line and dimension. And here I'm defining the style that I need exactly for this kitchen with this dimension, this cabinet, this window position, and also this Iceland at the middle. Okay, and here you can see a result, but uh, I want to change the kitchen style. And after that, you can see that is it working with other styles or no. Okay, let me change that. <clears throat> This time I am going to load this image and Q prompt. When I am pressing the Q, it is going to load and analyze my input. And after that, it's trying to suggest me some design inspiration exactly based on this dimension. Okay. And for me, it's very important to keep the window in same position, to keep the cabinets in same position. And after that, I can get some inspiration for, uh, for example, dividing and placement of the doors uh, and some other uh, things in this uh, kitchen. And each time that I am pressing the Q, I can get another variation. And also here, if I decrease the stretch line and stretch segmentation, I can get some different, a little different dimensions. But uh, actually, I think to get some design inspiration, it could be good. And already it can uh, help me to move easier. For example, when I can do this inspiration in less than a minute, after that, I can discuss with my employer very, very easier. So this time I want to, uh, to use another style, for example, this style. And let's see how it can analyze that. <clears throat> and I want to show you that it is really paying attention to the input style. Okay, and for example, here you can see the floor material, the colors, and also the style. And now we have something like that. And also maybe it could be useful. And as I told you before, uh, tweaking these parameters can help you to change the result and do some adjustment. For example, now I lost the window with this style because actually there is not any window. And uh, maybe this time, oh, <laughs> I like this composition. Uh, Maybe this time I can increase the string. Yes, and Q prompt. After that, yes, I have this, re this rectangular shape. And no, <laughs> it decided to make that instead of window to something else. But uh, maybe it's possible to try that. Uh -huh. Okay, just a little bit a strange on segmentation image, Q. Okay. All right, no problem. Uh, this time I think the AI is preferred to, do, to don't put image uh, window here but we can do that in Photoshop and uh, also it's easy, but based on the composition, you can see that still it is looking to our layout and it's very useful for me.
uh, you can use this method for any interior or exterior space and I like that it is working with me and here I used uh, a scribble control net with the output of Linart Linart as the preprocessor and also um, here yes here i have the c coder for analyzing the input input style and also code after a sketch i mix them together and this is the power and also i have a uh a scale up node but now i don't like that and just i prefer to get the design inspiration because already it is working for me uh and if I change the design style again, for example, this one, you can see that uh, what will be happen. And uh, for example, this time the floor is uh, wood parquets, the cabinet doors, this stone, the flower, and let's see the result. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, we have the window and also we have one additional window here. Uh, and I think with increasing the strange, we can solve that. It's very, very useful and you can use that. Hope to see you until the next video. Bye.